Hey folks, got a new item here. It's, uh, the GPO Manhattan. Not much information about this on uh, YouTube, so I figured I'd make a video of it. I purchased this off of Target for $110, uh, brand new. It has uh, two-way speakers. These are, I think they're 5 inch. They're not 8 inch. It looks like an 8 inch speaker, but it's only 5 inch. Um, you can kind of see it in there. It has soft dome tweeters. Uh, the box is part plastic and part wood, if I'm correct. It weighs a lot, at least 18 pounds. It has a built-in rechargeable battery. It has a mic 1 and 2. I tested that out. It does work. It does not come with a mic, but it does work. It has echo. That works. Uh, USB aux in. Volume, balance, bass, treble. Uh, you have controls here for the USB. Plus, you can change... You can turn the LEDs on and off in the front here, or you can change how they look just by uh, pressing this pair button, and it'll give you different looks to it. Um, it's extremely loud, and it sounds really good. Definitely worth the $110 that I paid for it. I'm going to play a little bit of music. You can see uh, the Spectrum Analyzer in play. The bass is really good. I mean, nice and tight bass. It also has a uh, ports on the side, there's one on each side, plus there's some ports in the back, um, it runs off of a wall wart, 18 volt, 5 amp, so yeah, it's got some beef to it, this has been fully charged up, I haven't had any issues uh, connecting it to Bluetooth, I found uh, it right away, um, I'm going to do a full teardown of this, and when I do, I'll post a video of that or probably add on to the end of this one um, there's some other let's see what else we got uh, yeah you can have it in the middle here this odd look personally I like the uh, this one looks pretty awesome uh, what other items was there oh they this is also on eBay I'm gonna leave a link in the description you can get this cheaper than what I got it brand new and I think it's ninety seven dollars and change that is worth it 100% um, I'm <laughs> tempted to get another one but I don't need any more boom boxes this one is really really nice for the price if you want to crank it real loud it can do that without any kind of distortion uh, this is just a short sweet video there's nothing out there on this so I figured I'd make one and uh, I hope that if you grab one you're as happy as I am with it anyways uh talk to you folks later oh one more thing let's crank this bad boy only light I had was coming from the sun But now I'm shining on a cloudy day And it don't matter what you say Cause even if the sky is falling I'ma do it anyway So say your worries, slide your loving I can't feel that good things coming Sounds real good, folks One last thing, if there's one negative I can give this unit Is the fact that it, there is some hiss when you don't have anything playing. I can hear it. It uh, is not affected by the volume. So it's just inherent to the unit. Anyway, I just want to add that last bit. Doesn't deter me from wanting to, you know, give this uh, two thumbs up though. As promised, here's the inside of the uh, GPO Manhattan. Uh, it's actually built quite well. Uh, here's the tweeters. Interesting, the way they're set up like this. But you can take the 
take it basically apart down to the core you got the, uh, the chrome rings right here uh, turn this here's your battery I couldn't quite get the uh, milliamps on it I'm thinking probably 7500 milliamps and of course this is a unit upside down I'm gonna take these speaker grills out and I'm gonna paint them fluorescent yellow because why not right if you can do it you can do it uh, okay here's the interesting part the speakers the woofers are actually in their own separate wooden enclosures which is pretty freaking cool I've never seen that on a radio where they had separate uh, wooden structures inside the case of the unit. Uh, here's the quite a beefy amplifier back there. You can see what those capacitors, high, uh, high output capacitors. So you know there's some serious headroom in this unit. You can see the uh, all the information on the top here. Plus, there's a port on the side you can see down there. And I attempted to take one of these woofers out, but they they have a massive magnet on that on it. So my guess is they're actually about four inch woofer, but they can kick pretty hard. And with that ma massive magnet behind it, I'm thinking, yeah, about 40 watts, like I like they say it has. Everything is unpluggable, which is nice. So if you ever have to replace a part or something. Uh, there's a uh, charging circuit down there. Uh, on the back of the tweeter, it is listed as 6 ohm, 15 watt. So it's a, it looks like a silk dome tweeter. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's built extremely well. The only thing I don't like is the handle. The handle uses these little rubber grommets that uh, fit up there. And you put it in between the handle and eh, this thing weighs about 18 pounds, and I don't really like the, uh, I think it should be, the handle is beefy, but the way it's connected to the unit itself is, could be a little bit better. Honestly, that is a very small nitpick. The uh, fluorescent display spectrum analyzer is actually not that bad. I mean, it's, it, it's not a cheap spectrum analyzer. It's actually pretty well built. And uh, these retail for $300, but I'm going to put a link down below where you can get these for less than $98, brand new, with free shipping. And it's absolutely worth it for that, absolutely. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and edit this video and put it up, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at this unit. I'm going to take another little tiny video at the end with the new speaker grill colors, and you let me know what you think about it. All right. Alright guys, just the last little bit of this video. I just wanted to show that uh, you can tear this down and everything is removable, which is kind of cool. So what I did is I just took the, uh, as you can see, the speaker grills off and painted them fluorescent yellow. <laughs> From a buddy of mine said it would look cool to have fluorescent yellow. So, yeah, they're real, it's really easy to take apart. Just be careful. Some of the screws... The screws on the back are a little bit longer than the screws that go into the other parts of the unit. Uh, so be careful when putting it back together because unfortunately I boo-booed and, and put a screw, yeah, right through the chrome like a dum-dum. So anyway, just be aware of that. Otherwise, it, these come apart real nice. No issues. Everything is unpluggable inside. So, I right, hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, also, these things are on sale on eBay. I might have already mentioned it. They knocked the price down about 78 bucks, brand new, in the box. I will leave a link down in the description. I get nothing for this. This is just me pointing out a radio that there are no videos on YouTube about. And I figured I'd make one. And I highly recommend it for 78 bucks, folks. And they got quite a few of them from what I see. Uh, I paid 120 for this shipped from Target. And I still consider that a good deal. So if you can get them for 78 bucks, why not, right? And uh, it really does sound very, very good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, have a good day.